Hi, uh, Sarah Dostar, welcome back to a new video. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about uh, how to get a job in Kazakhstan. Uh, I made a video regarding this topic maybe four or five years ago, and that video has, I think that video has the most view in my, uh, most views in my channel. So I think, I was thinking maybe I could update that information. A lot of people are trying to come to Kazakhstan for a job. Kazakhstan is getting more popular. Um, I will say why I'm saying popular. Kazakhstan is becoming more uh, European friendly, Western friendly, tourist friendly. Friendly. So I think there are more opportunity for people to find information about Kazakhstan and come to Kazakhstan for uh, to find job. Um, for me personally, I work here as a teacher. Um, there are three main ways to get work for a teacher in Kazakhstan. So I will talk about these four ways and then I will talk how to get job in general. So for me personally, I got job first job in Kazakhstan by luck because one of the professors who worked in Nottingham University in UK, he had an opportunity to come to the university in Kazakhstan. It was Kazakh British Technical University in Almaty. So he came here for a conference, um, he interacted with the people and when he came back he shared his experience saying that Kazakhstan is an amazing place, very less foreigners, a lot of opportunity and this was eight years ago. Uh, for example, most of my friends wanted to go to US or UK or Australia, Europe, all those places. Uh, I was the only person who like came to Kazakhstan at least among my friends. Uh, so first time when I applied for the job I was at the same university my professor visited I had like three interviews first interview was uh, like a general interview with the head of department then there was a meeting with the dean of the university and then there was a third um, interview with uh, HR some teachers from IT department and all those things so once all those were finished they said that based on the rules they cannot hire me directly they will give me um, let's say a temporary job let's say one month or two months and they will see how I'm working and they so when I went there for a job for two months I think that time I had a business visa or something similar because that time I was not working I was going there as a specialist providing my services to university so that legally I'm not allowed to work and I didn't work there also I was providing educational materials, supporting teachers, uh, improving how they teach, uh, introducing more English to the teaching methodology. So I worked there for two months, then I came back and they said, okay, I have an opportunity to work there as a senior lecturer. That was the easy part. The difficult part is the documents. Uh, then I applied all the documents, a postal, one of my documents is from India, bachelor's degree. My second document is from UK, it's um, master's degree. It had to be apostilled and notarized and translated because Kazakhstan, they speak Russian and Kazakh. All these things took around uh, two, two to three months, plus the, it was so expensive. Fortunately, my work uh, reimbursed me for the visa as well as the documentation process. So the first method is to get a job is to apply directly to the universities and school. Uh, you can um, search for the top schools in Kazakhstan, top universities in Kazakhstan and just, just go through the website. Uh, if you're lucky, there will be English version of the website. Even if it's not in English, try to translate to English and then contact HR directly because applying online, it never works. You need to have like a special status just by emailing directly. Uh, with your resume and with your experience uh, most of the people most of the HR department of reputed schools and university they respond back even if you don't get the job they'll say like they'll keep your documents in record and they will get back to you when there's a position open so the first tip is don't just apply online your application will just get lost it's better to uh, send directly to the school and maybe um, after one month remind them again about the status of the application uh, there are websites in Kazakhstan where they share uh, they share job vacancies but it's not popular for foreigners because there are very less foreigners in Kazakhstan so again if you're working in schools directly apply to the schools and the university the second tip uh, I would give is for people who are working in oil and gas company uh, there are no vacancies um, let's say promoted within the country 
usually those uh, vacancies are shared by what how do you call vacancy agent like job agencies and uh, or their main websites i have seen a lot of people coming here they they i asked them how did they find the job they said that they had advertisement in their own country they need 20 electricians they need 20 engineers they need five electricians it's like a it's like buying something from the shop so always check with the local newspaper or local website the companies or especially oil companies any oil company that you can talk about it's here the major one the chevron and all those companies are here they usually um, promote their vacancies by online platform or online job agencies so try to keep in touch with them but there's a difference here if you try to email directly uh, to the oil companies in kazakhstan they won't respond uh, the interesting thing is uh, if you have a lot of experience and if let's say 10 to 15 years of experience in a some specialty in oil and gas then you have an opportunity to come to kazakhstan uh, to get a job but if it's something general kazakhstan has developed a lot of petroleum and oil and gas engineers here so there's no way to come for come to work here because there's no job for general uh, category the third way to get job here is there are a lot of uh, companies based in arab in dubai or abu dhabi they are building um, hotels and resorts here in kazakhstan so there are a lot of indians and a lot of foreigners coming through that route so the company gets a contract here to create uh, any, make any infrastructure factories resorts hotel a lot of indians and people from other developing nations come through that route they get the visa quickly and they come to kazakhstan these are three easy ways uh, to come to kazakhstan one thing i want to say is which you may not like um, eight years ago it was easy to come to kazakhstan the visa process was easy there was a lot of job opportunities now kazakhstan is trying to be self-sufficient if you apply even if you apply for the job you get accepted and when you apply for the visa they have rejected saying that they may reject that saying that you don't have enough experience or you are not qualified enough to come to kazakhstan because kazakhstan is not like a country where it's not like dubai or us where you just go there and then look for a job and then find a job the kazakhstan is only looking for highly skilled labor with a lot of experience and good quality good qualifications and education so that's it um, hopefully this video was useful i'm always here online if you have any questions regarding a uh, job or regarding visa please make sure to comment below i'll read and if i know the answer i'll uh, respond a lot of you asked about getting a permanent visa in kazakhstan permanent residence visa in kazakhstan personally i don't have a permanent residence in kazakhstan so i cannot give you a strong uh, valid information but um, i'll be interviewing someone his name is joe he's from us uh, he recently got his permanent resident card in Kazakhstan. We call it the pink card because in US you have the green card. In Kazakhstan it's completely very pink. So we call it the pink card in Kazakhstan. So I'll be interviewing him, asking him a lot of questions. What are the documents? What are the uh, process he went through? What are difficulties? So please make sure to subscribe for that video. See you soon. Goodbye.